Welcome back to News 2 at 4. With parents running around and kids back in school, it can be difficult to bag a healthy lunch while you're on the run. And nutritionist Terry Johnson joins us today. How are you? Good to see you. Great. Uh, so what are the do's and don'ts for packing lunches? Well, one of the main things is to rem remember to include protein, fiber, and fat in meals. Um, a lot of times parents pack things that are very carb heavy, grain heavy, and that causes some blood sugar fluctuation, fluctuation. So sometimes kids have a hard time focusing after that. Okay, so what should parents be packing in a lunch? Okay, well we have a few examples. Um, again, everything represents protein, fiber, and fat. If we take leftovers, for example, we have some leftover meatballs from the night before with green beans. Okay. Um, and then you can add to that some carrots with ranch dressing to dip. Kids love to dip and dunk, so anything that you can do um, that's fun and to make it more interesting is always helpful. We have hummus with cucumbers, um, some peanut butter with apple slices, and then again my version of the Lunchable where we have some meat, cheese, mm -hmm. and grapes. And of course milk or water would be the best thing to include as a beverage. Okay, so it's either it's a vegetable or a fruit or both? Correct. Vegetable and fruit or fiber, so you can do both, you can do one, okay. really no limit there. Okay, and what about, what about for sandwiches? Well, for sandwiches, typically I recommend that you wrap it in lettuce. Um, if hmm. you must use bread, look for a double fiber bread where, again, we won't have the blood sugar spikes. That would be, that's interesting. I've never really seen a kid eat a sandwich wrapped in lettuce before. It's a matter of what you get them used to. Hmm, mm -hmm. interesting. And what about, what about any, you know, is, does a peanut butter act as kind of a, a, a treat if they wanted a, a dessert? Kind it of? can be. The apples and the peanut butter combination, you get a little bit of sweet with a little bit of salty. So it's a, it's a good combination. Okay. And, I mean, talk to us, too, about, you know, parents on a budget with uh, packing, packing this stuff. How do they, how do right. they pack it? It's a great money saver. Um, I have, you know, just inexpensive plastic containers. You can go to the, you know, any dollar store and get things like this. Make sure you have an insulated bag so that the food stays safe. You want to make sure it's at a safe temperature. Um, make sure to include ice packs in there as well. Okay. And what about all these other things on the market, like Go-Gurt and things like that? Are, the, are those good? Well, typically they're full of sugar. And again, the last thing we want to do is for kids to not be able to focus because they're so wound up. Hmm. So what are the things? The sugar. What are the things should parents stay away from that are kind of popular? Um, well, again, the soft drinks and candies and chips and things like that, full of preservatives, full of salt, full of sugar. You want to limit that. Um, whenever you pack a lunch, make sure you understand and can recognize the ingredients that's, that are included in that lunch. And what if parents simply don't have time to pack a lunch and the kids have to purchase, you know, lunch at school? What Do you have any suggestions that parents should tell their kids? Right. Again, same thing. Make sure you're getting a good protein source, meat, cheese, eggs, great for protein. Try to encourage them to choose a fruit or a vegetable with that. And again, milk or water. Okay. And you mentioned before we came on air the, the checkups for kids. Yes. Back to school time is a great time for parents to remember. Get your well checkups. Mm -hmm. um, you can find a pediatrician by going to www.brgeneral.org and click on find a physician. Okay. Great. Well, thanks so much, Terry. Appreciate you Thank coming you in for and having telling me. us all these good tips. All right, and we'll be right back after this.